TR Rehab back with another video. Today we're gonna be extracting calcium from eggshells with a little vinegar for our gardens. Stay tuned. We're gonna start off by heating our oven up to 300. Taking the eggshells we had for breakfast this morning, we're gonna leave them in for three minutes. Once the eggshells have been in the oven for three minutes, we're gonna take white vinegar and extract pure calcium from the eggshells. If you're experiencing blossom end rot on your tomatoes or either your peppers, this is the way to get your plants immediate calcium. And it's a fun experiment to do with your kids or grandkids if you have any. We're gonna start by crushing the eggshells. We don't want them too fine because we want the vinegar to have something to bite on. Okay. Let's extract some calcium. Take your mason jar and we're gonna fill it with our eggshells. Now I'm using a 20 ounce mason jar. And what we're gonna do right here, we're just gonna add our crushed eggshells. It doesn't really matter the amount of eggshells that you use because we're gonna use a 50-50 ratio eggshells and white vinegar. There are videos all over the internet telling you to add eggshells in your garden for calcium. But the truth of the matter is, the eggshells, if you put them in whole or crushed, as you see right here that I'm putting in the mason jar, those eggshells probably won't be available for the plant for six months to a year, maybe even two years in some cases. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a calcium brew that's available immediately to your plants. Just listen at the chemical reaction of the vinegar extracting the calcium straight from the eggshell. Okay, let's extract some calcium. I got the idea to do this video after watching the Green Cappy. He's another YouTuber. He does this thing to a science, lab kit and all. That's the Green Cappy. I'm sorry, but this is just amazing to me. This is my first year gardening and I'm consuming as much information as I possibly can. And for as many people out there out here complaining about blossom in rot on their tomatoes or on their peppers, I haven't experienced any. And I do believe it's because I've been using this brew. We're not even five minutes into this. And look at how the vinegar is just ripping the calcium directly from the eggshells. Listen to the chemical reaction. That's amazing. Right now, we're about two hours in on this. This whole process takes about 24 hours. When the eggshells stop dancing and they settle down, that means the eggshells have neutralized the vinegar and the vinegar is extracted 100% calcium, ready and available to use by your plants. Five hours in and it's still reacting. Here we are 24 hours later, and our brew has finally settled down, and all that's left to do is screen the eggshells from our solution. The pH on this should be somewhere around a 5.5, and that's primarily because of the vinegar. This is very strong calcium, and it should be somewhere in the 330 range. This is perfect for foliar feeds or root drenching but you definitely want to dilute this 10 to 1 ratio, one tablespoon per gallon, almost pure, and your plants are gonna love you for it. And once again, eggshells are good for your garden, but it can take up to a year and sometimes more for those nutrients to be released into the soil. So this, in my opinion, is by far the best way to use eggshells in your garden to get that immediate calcium in order for your plants to grow healthy and strong. I'm gonna strain this one more time while adding it to my garden go-to's. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And here's another tip for using eggshells in your garden. I found this little coffee grinder for about $7. Whenever I make my calcium brew, I take the discarded eggshells, throw them in the grinder, make a powder out of it, sprinkle it around the base of your plants. It makes perfect food for the earthworms. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching.